This semester's theater show is Peter and the Starcatcher. This show is unique in that it will not be in the theater. Peter and the Starcatcher will take place on the Bold Course, provided that the weather is good. So outdoor theater is something that we have not done here at Barry College, in a, if at all, in a very, very long time. And it's just something that most college students don't get experience with. Peter and the Starcatcher is also unique in that it is not the Peter Pan story we all know and love. It is the story of how Peter Pan came to be. You get to see how Peter Pan becomes Peter Pan, I think. Um, in the start of the play, you have no idea about who this guy even is, like what he wants out of life, and by the end, he has completely morphed into this, into Peter Pan, you know? And you get to see, you know, the evolution of Captain Hook and Smee, and it talks about, right, Smee is everyone's favorite, I think, deep down inside. Um, but just witnessing, I guess, how someone can go from being such an underdog to someone who's so in charge and helping of others is a really cool change to see. Because Peter and the Starcatcher is on the bold course, there have been many challenges in terms of preparing the space for the show. First, there's no power, so uh, we have to get power, so we rented a generator. Uh, there are no seats, so we rented seats. There's no box office, so we rented a tent and some tables to be the box office. Uh, we have to build a control booth to lock up all of our expensive equipment, and then we have to build the stage. And then that doesn't include weather issues. Despite all of the challenges, several of the actors believe that being outdoors is an important aspect of the show and really brings Peter and the Starcatcher to life. I think something that's really great about this show is that normally when you go to see a show, the magic is sort of it's sort of just placed there on the stage and then the actors work around it and it's just sort of there to see. But here the actors are very much creating the magic right there before you and it leaves so much room for interpretation and imagination, which is kind of what the story of Peter Pan asks for. Peter and the Starcatcher will be showing September 26th through October 2nd. All showings will be at 7.30 p.m. With Viking Fusion News, I'm Chandler Lawrence.